And now, live from the Terrace in Toronto, to launch YTV's program service for Canada's kids and their families, the Honourable Flora Macdonald. Good evening. As Canada's Minister of Communications, I'm very happy to be here with you tonight to help launch a new Canadian television network that's just for kids. YTV. YTV will program for young Canadians and give them the full-time access to first-class programs designed especially for them. It's been a long time coming, and it's taken the strength and the commitment of so many people, but tonight, Canada has its own network dedicated to young people. And this is a particularly important addition to the whole range of Canadian bro uh, broadcasting services, because children spend more time with television than with any other activity. And the average Canadian child watches between 20 and 25 hours a week of television. When I announced the new broadcasting policy recently, I stressed the need for quality Canadian choices. And this applies particularly to young audience who are perhaps influenced more than most by the broadcast media. YTV will make a very valuable contribution to the broadcasting system and will assist in providing young Canadians with the kind of programming choices that you want and you deserve. And so I look forward to YTV's first season and to more and better Canadian programming for all Canadians. And now tonight, thanks to YTV, I have a chance to do something that I never expected to do. Every TV broadcast needs a director to give the countdown to the next item. And to launch YTV and its very first program starring John Candy, I am going to make my debut as a TV director and give the countdown. And And in that, in that same spirit of fun that marks YTV's programming, I'd like to share this role with you. I want you all to join with me. So now, join with me in wishing YTV every success as it takes its place in the Canadian broadcasting system and in giving the countdown to YTV's first program starring John Candy. Five. Four, three, two, one, roll! The following sponsors are proud to be part of YTV's first night. Hello, Canada. Welcome to YTV. First night with your host, the irrepressible John Candy. Special musical guests, Blue Rodeo. And an all star lineup of what you'll be seeing on YTV in the season ahead. Exciting programs from Canada and around the world. Entertainment for the whole family. So sit back and enjoy. And now, here's your host. There it is. YTV is officially on the air. Hi, I'm John Candy, and I'm here to tell you all about Canada's newest television network. They're called YTV, and they'll be bringing you quality children's, youth, and family programming all day long. The key word, quality. I guess that's why I'm here. <laughs> At least I hope that's why I'm here. First of all, I should get the bad news out of the way. There are going to be certain shows you'll never see on YTV. For example, Financial Week in Review. They won't be showing it. No. Or that guy who, who's trying to tell you how to get rich by selling real estate? Hmm. He won't be on. And you know those shows that, uh, that want you to, to sell you stuff so that you won't go bald? You know those shows? You won't see them here on YTV. 
You see, YTV is not allowed to broadcast news, sports, or public affairs, or any other programs made specifically for adults. But there's more bad news. YTV will have less commercials. Yeah. In fact, weekdays from 8 in the morning until 3.30 in the afternoon, they'll have no commercials at all. I know, I know. Which means you're going to have to watch all your favorite shows without any interruptions. What a drag. Well, I hope you're not too disappointed, because everyone wants you to love YTV. It's taken years of hard work by a lot of people dedicated to children's programming to get YTV on the air. This is the first Canadian television network designed totally for kids and their families. Come on, I'll show you what I mean. Would you come on? Boy. The first part of every day will be dedicated to younger kids and their families. YTV has brought together the best children's shows from around the world. You can learn how to read or work a computer. They even have the Lone Ranger, one of the greatest cowboys of all time, and his trusty companion, Tonto. Mmm, Kimosabi, real good show. Plus, they've got all kinds of great cartoons. One, one with heroes like uh, Black Star and Captain Marvel, and funny ones like Mapletown. Boy, I love that show. It's, it's, well, I know what you're saying. Is, is that all he does, watch cartoons? <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. That's, that's pretty much my day. Uh, a good, good handful of cartoons. So what, what, you got a problem with that? Anyway, here's some of the shows you'll see. Psst, get over down where? here. Oh, sorry. Tiggle on the tongue. <laughs> Tiggle on the what? Leading off YTV's preschool lineup is a delightful treat. Once upon a time, on the banks of the River Tum, there was a village, a very special little village, with friendly Tickle characters. Tickle on the Tum. So what I tell my customers is take things steadily. When things go wrong, don't stay sad long. I'm sitting along with me. Tap, 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 So, 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 and so. Weekdays at 2 on YTV, explore the wonders of the animal world with Melissa Russell and Big Cuddly Kangazoo on the Kangazoo Plus. Gibbons are found in, in the wild throughout Southeast Asia. Ready? Let's go. Come on, Philip. Oh, good boy. That was great. Can't wait to get to the Maple Town. My favorite place to be, Maple Town and me. Rachel, please be all right. Please, Rachel. Don't worry, Rachel can take care of herself. She'll be just fine. Look, up there! It's Rachel! Patty! Here you come, I just knew it! Don't worry, Rachel, everything's going to be all right. We'll rescue you somehow, I promise! <laughs> Monday to Friday at 11 a.m., take a fun-filled journey to a land of wonderment, a place called Maple Town. When the going gets tough, the kids get going, and the world goes five times dizzy. A transplanted Greek family tries to make a go of it in Australia, and the comedic complications begin. Oh, wait, I dare you. Well, if she wanted to put the evil eye on you, she'd kind of go like this. Five times dizzy on YTV weekdays at three. Keeping fit and growing strong. Healthy, happy, join along. Free to dance and free to run. Free to jump. Let's have fun. Stretching Weekday afternoons on YTV. Kids get going with exercise, puppetry, and lots of fun on Free to Fly. Fly in our own dream sky, free to fly, you and I, free to fly. Did you ever wish you're like a gymnast girl who won the Olympic gold? You gotta twist and twirl in front of all the world and they'll never let you go.
goals, you could do it. Yes, you can. Can sports and fitness be any more fun? You bet. Weekday afternoons at 1.30, join Kevin Gillis and friends for lively entertainment on Yes, You Can. Did you ever dream about scoring a goal for the national team with one second to go? You can do We'll be right back with lots more about YTV's lineup of shows, and we've got some great music from Blue Rodeo, so don't go away. And I mean it. Oh, big fellow. Hi, this is Eugene Levy. Just want to wish YTV the best of luck. It's the greatest thing to hit Canada since, you know, this is, this is, the, this is the great thing about coming out of improvisational theater. Hi, this is Diana Christie. Just to say congratulations, YTV. Sirs, I've got something I must show you. What have you got? The Diet Pepsi Taste Drive. Things are changing, sirs. Changing? Number four? Well, sirs, more than half the Diet Coke drinkers who received Diet Pepsi Taste Pack said that they prefer the taste of Diet Pepsi. If you want to watch me, go ahead. Go on, on, number four, and put this Diet Pepsi Taste Drive on ice once and for all. If you want to do... He has for the younger kids, but now... Let's talk about the shows they've lined up for the ones that are a little older. If you're like me, and I'm sure you are, you like comedy. Well, just for starters, YTV's got The Muppet Show, Carol Burnett, and The Emu Show. And if you've never met Emu, get ready for one of the weirdest puppets you'll ever meet. Or if you're like me, and I'm sure you are, you'll like adventure. There's Robin Hood. Robin Hood, Robin Hood, riding through the Glen. Or Forest Rangers. Forest rangers, forest rangers, riding through the glen. Or if you're like me, and I'm sure you are, well, wait a second. Why don't we just let you see what you're going to get? Roll the tape. Roll the tape, roll the tape, riding through the glen. Kiss. It's unbeatable excitement when the thrills of the high wire and center ring come to YTV. Let's go, Villains, beware. These guys mean business. They're the Ghostbusters. And Saturday mornings around YTV won't be the same when this team's on the case. You are, chaps. I'm afraid we've come to capture you. So be good, lads, and stand still a moment. What? <laughs> afraid not, Haunter. We're going Ghostbusters! Weekdays at 5, YTV's got colorful outdoor adventure with the Forest Rangers. I can only take two of you at a time. Okay, I'll come back for you and Granddad. No need. I can get them out. I know a way. Sure? I'm sure. I wouldn't accept that from anyone but you, Joe. Go ahead. Still want to come? Yeah. Maybe I'm starting to learn sense. Great kids, then. I didn't know they made kids like that these days. Saturday mornings at 9, follow the princess of power in her struggle against the evil forces of the Horde. Where darkness rules, fights the champion of light. Where hope seems lost, there rides the rebellion. Together they stand ready against the dark, evil warriors of the Horde and their leader, the terrible Hordak, She-Ra. 
princess of power, 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 power. And coming exclusively to YTV, Deke Wilson's Mini Mysteries. He's a 12-year-old Canadian kid, a gum-chewing gumshoe in running shoes who will sweep your lawn or solve your case. He's a detective in training. He's Deke Wilson. Now I'd like to tell you about a show I think's very special. You see, it's a big hit in the United States, but we've never had much of a chance to see it here in Canada. And the strange part of it is, it's a Canadian show. It's written, produced, and performed in Ottawa, the nation's capital, Ottawa. Now, to tell you the truth, I've never seen it, because they hardly show it up here. But YTV has decided to give it the Canadian exposure it so rightfully deserves. It's called You Can't Do That on TV. Let's take a look. Take equal parts of kids and comic mayhem, mix them together, and what do you get? Unbeatable entertainment. You can't do that on TV. And here's a show where the whole idea is you can't say the word water. <laughs> Hey, I suppose that's somebody's idea of a joke, is it? Huh? Well, call me crazy, but I don't think that's very funny. If this is the comedy of the future, well... Well, I don't know. I don't believe this. I don't believe this. I got slimed. I got slimed on this show. I, this is absolute, okay, okay, fine. We're gonna have a talk, all right? We're gonna have a little talk, but uh, first, let's bring on the music. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Blue Rodeo. Interested? Good, because here's a sample of what you're gonna get. Hi there, have you been? Hunting. For a great show. But it's easier said than done. Now there's YTV Rocks. This is a Once opportunity. It's a show for tomorrow people. Hi Canada, we're the Jitters, and you're watching YTV Rocks. Hi, I'm Carly Minogue in Coast to Coast. You're watching YTV Rocks. YTV Rocks. One hour of fast fun for you. YTV Rocks. For you. Here in Seenland. So look, if you want to stay on top of what's happening in music, movies, and anything else worth knowing about, join me weekdays at 6 for YTV Rocks. I'm Michael Q. See you then. Thank you, Michael. From England comes Swock, an upbeat teen drama about Amanda, a 13-year-old at odds with the reality around her. Her only escape, the fantasy world of romance magazines. You do as you're told. Amanda, do I have to read that thing at table? I don't know what's the matter with you these days. You've either got your head stuck in the clouds or in one of those things. Hi, reading. Get all that rubbish with you. Oh, no. Oh, no. Rubbish. Oh. Romantic claptrap. 
It must be something wrong with me, because I seem to find most boys really childish and stupid. All except Terry, that is. Terry is really different. Mind if I join you? Mind? Thought maybe those creeps were giving you some trouble. Swack. Watch for it on YTV. And Tuesday evenings at 8.30, a grand British ancestral manor is the stomping ground for five mischievous phantoms. Who are they? They're the ghosts of Motley Hall. The villagers say it is. And what do you think? Well, let's say I wouldn't like to spend a night here all alone. You wouldn't be me, old cock. Stop living in Nepal. But that's when I did live. Yes. Well, uh, hold up. Yep. A little bell on. A little bell on entitled, you're going to keep your spirits up or you don't stand a ghost of a chance. No? No. It's got a haunting little tune. No. Long live the ghosts of Motley Hall. Yeah, yeah. 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 Looking for Wild West adventure at its best? Then look no further. Weeknights at 9.30, YTV's got a classic, Bonanza. The year is 2089 A.D., and in a small village in England, a strange happening is taking place. Nature's bounty toils and treats us. By their benevolent presence, the tripods have eliminated the evil and greed of war, and all wars, death, diseases, and despair. We thank the tripods. When the tripods first appeared, they destroyed whole cities. Millions of people were killed or starved. And those that were left, the tripods capped. The Tripods. Futuristic suspense. Thursday nights at 8.30. Hi, I'm Jonathan Crombie, sitting in the middle of YTV's busy control room. Wishing you guys the best of luck. Are you ready, kids? One, two, three. Good luck! We could use some family entertainment, couldn't we, kids? <laughs>